okay? So if you work with the purpose, if you're gonna shrink in pocket, then you start here. But to be honest with you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the easiest way possible. And then if you want to elaborate and become a, an artist, be my guest. I'm gonna show you the easiest way possible, okay? So here's what I wanna do. I don't wanna leave anybody behind. First war rule, you know, combat rule. Mm -hmm. Nobody stays behind. And then the street rule. Get, go for the big first. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start where there are no fingers here. I don't need heat here. So I want to make sure my heat is going down this line, not on this line, because that's how I create all those waves. It's shrinking where there is no shrinking to be done. Okay. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna go look at the look at my heat gun. You see how close I am to the film? Yep. I am very close. I'm not running, I'm not going fast, but I'm looking at the film and I'm watching what the film is doing. So I'm very close, I'm tr trying not to touch the glass, but I'm very close to the film. Close enough that the heat of the heat gun it's enough to shrink it, to lay it down. And that's and it's it, it's done. done. This quarter is done. How long was yes. that quarter? Uh, you can cut because we're going to talk. 45 right? seconds. 45 seconds. That's this it. This quarter is done. There are no fingers. There are no fingers. If you want to double check, and I highly advise you in the beginning, until you learn how to read the film. Mm -hmm. So I can look over here and I see I have no issues anymore. This film is done. But... I want you to double check. And okay. what you do is you shrink the whole film, trim it, because at this point I know you can trim it. You can trim to cover the visible part of the glass, okay? So trim it, wet the glass, put the film back and spread it. Okay, just to double check yourself. But listen, how many times did I touch this glass None. with this? No, oh, no. None, I didn't touch it. And that's what causes damage. That's yeah. most of the time that's what causes damage. It's over thinking, over stressing the film. film yeah. Yes. Okay. So now just to prove my point, I'm going to do this. And I don't, I don't want to go beyond that line because I, I don't want to deal with that line yet. Any fingers? Nope. It's that small little, oh, but it looks here? like a burn. Looks like it might be a little. And when you get that, you just go underneath it. Huh. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> that's it. Okay. That's what I want you guys to do the job without getting the glass hot. Okay. And let's say I had not done that now. I did my trimming, most likely that it's outside the line anyway, but I did my trimming, I wet my glass, I put my film back, and I squeeze it to, make, to double check, and a little finger showed up. What did I do yesterday? The same thing I did now. Blow under it. Blow under, squeeze it, it's gone, bye-bye. And if you put it on the inside of the car? Oh, it's gonna up. be a problem. <laughs> Yeah, but but you can heat, still fix it. Remember heat it up to pain. Yes, you see, I, I did on the Camry. I did yesterday to prove to you guys that even if there is a finger on the inside, if it's not a major issue, you can fix it with the heat to the point of pain. 